Chingling? All right, you know what? Let's keep going with Indigo. I think Indigo can handle a Chingling. I mean, it's just a freaking Chingling. Let's go, boy. Hit him with that fly. Hit him with that fly. Whoa, whoa, pew! Ha! Psychic? Easy, dude. Actually, maybe not. That could do a lot of damage. Please kill. Oh, no. Okay, maybe I was being dumb. Maybe I was really stupid. Indigo! Ah! Okay. We have speed, right? Damn. Okay, I took a risk and it, it kind of paid off. That was still incredibly risky. That was still... Oh! 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 <laughs> Woo! I forgot about life form. I forgot about life form. Damn. <laughs>there welcome to the weekly episode of pokemon why hopefully within the span of time between this episode and the last episode you guys managed to become fully working members of the society hopefully you guys managed to achieve uh both financially oh my god my farto stop
What is up, guys? My name is Asteroid, and welcome back to the next episode of our Pokemon Y Randomized Egglock. Um, wow, this is not how I expected this episode to start off. Um, Monferno, you're gonna need to stop. And by stop, I mean, like, stop, stop. Anyways, welcome back to this series. Yes, I know it's weekly now. Yes, I know I haven't been consistent. Yes, I know we've been focusing a lot more on Soul Link and a lot more on some other stuff as opposed to focusing on Y, which I'm really, 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 oh, that's gonna be a pain in the ass to edit. Really, 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 really sorry about, uh, yeah, literally this past, like, few months and just overall, actually, more specifically, this past week has just been totally dedicated to keeping Soul Link as consistent as possible, and then I also tried to throw in a few live streams here and there, so, Overall, it's been very, very hectic. It's been very, very insane. It's been a very wild week, but thank you guys for your patience. Thank you guys for your support. And now we are here to hopefully be finishing up Y within a very reasonable time. Now, the thing about this, or the thing that I wanted to really uh, nail home here, is that, uh, yeah, this series is almost over. Like, we are seriously about to finish this series. We are ser- Ha! We are serious. Series. It's, uh, okay, I'll stop. Wow, that was awful. We are going to be finishing up this series very, very soon. And that means that we need something else to do. Now, what I was thinking is, you know, doing another solo OP, starting up something new uh, to finish up before Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. But then I really thought to myself, and I thought, okay, we have about a month until Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon drops. Um, and I thought to myself, can I, can I really... C could I really complete a solo LP within that within that amount of time before Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon? Because I really don't want to have the series go on uh, into Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon territory. And I ultimately decided that I don't think I'll be able to, unfortunately. But the good thing about this, or the, the plan that I came up with, is that I think we're going to continue Soul Link, obviously. Have Soul Link go up until Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. And then, what instead of, instead of doing like a, a video solo LP, I was thinking we could do like a stream solo LP, so we'll start streaming like three, two to three times a week, we'll do like some sort of uh, stream let's play instead of actually you know, doing it in video form, because that way each live stream ends up being like two hours, two and a half hours, and we could easily knock out the game, whatever we decide to play, uh, before Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, because I really just want to have basically almost everything wrapped up before Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, because I have a lot of big plans for Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, so definitely stay tuned for that. Hit that like button if you guys uh, want to hear more about that, if you guys want to see that in your sub box in a few months or in a month or so. Anyways, though, we're back in Victory Road! That was literally the most wild intro I think I have ever done in this series. But anyways, starting up here, let's go, let's go over the team, because you guys probably saw a little bit of a team time lapse, a grinding montage towards the beginning of this episode, and I literally grinded for like... I don't know, two, two and a half hours, and this is what I managed to come up with. Yo, I low-key had to make a jump cut there because I totally forgot how to pronounce this man's name. And uh, E Broccoli Gaming, shout out to you, my dude. He actually sent in this egg, and he told me in the comment section of the previous video how to pronounce it. Apparently, it's Polly, uh, the name, and then with the letter D at the end was 0630. So, Polly D. Polly D, thank you so much for sending in that egg, though. I really do appreciate it, man. And sorry for totally butchering the name, but we have level 40 here. Grass Knot, Surf, Dazzling Gleam, and Ice Beam with the Mystic Water as well. I got this man up basically as high as I could. Uh, when it came to, like, the really low-leveled mons, I aimed for level 40, which I know is not on par by any means. Uh, but after two and a half hours of grinding, I was just done. All uh, right, and I know, I know it's risky. I know it's not smart, but listen, man. Listen, you gotta take some risks sometimes, alright? You gotta risk it to get the biscuit, and I know I really don't want to be risking the biscuit because this series is on, is on the verge of ending, and I don't want it to end in a loss, but you know what? I think we'll be okay level 40. I think we can do this. I think we got this. Next up, we have... Oh, I just hit the mic. Sorry about that. We have Inigo, or in Inigo? Inigo, something like that. Level 40, the Star Raptor, with Fly, Close Combat, Quick Attack, and Aerial Ace. Now, you guys might be wondering, Asteroid... Where did you get this Pokemon? We got him in Azure Bay. We ended up catching a Timeco. I'm pretty sure this was all during the team, uh, the grinding montage is what I should be saying. Well, I can't speak. I don't know why I said montage really weird. But anyways, I caught a Timeco and I swapped it out for this Starly that I eventually evolved into a Staraptor. So this man has Fly, Close Combat, Quick Attack, and Aerial Ace. And honestly, I could not be happier. Uh, with a Staraptor. A Staraptor is absolutely insane. This man has an adamant nature. He is super incredibly powerful, and I'm excited to have Inigo on the team. Next up, we have Handy Manny. You guys already know him. He evolved into an Ambipom, level 40, with Power Punch, Sand Attack, Acrobatics, and Return. I thought Handy Manny would be the best 
option for us on this team um, as our normal type. Now, I could have scooped up... Um, I believe we have, you know, Bidoof in the PC, and I was thinking, you know, Bibberol could be nice for that water typing, but then I thought, I mean, at the end of the day, it's a Bibberol, you know, and even though it does have that water typing, we already have that with Polly. uh, I mean, if we didn't have Polly, I definitely would have considered it, but I think we'll be okay with the fire types, we do have Polly, and we do have some other countermeasures as well. Next up, we have Suffering, level 51 now, with Counter, Mirror Coat, Safeguard, and Destiny Bond. Suffering, unfortunately, we thought wasn't legal, but it turns out she actually was, so I decided to throw her on the team, uh, mainly because Suffering is insanely bulky, she puts in the work, and with Counter and, and Mirror Coat, she honestly does a lot, so she's really dope. Next up, we have Psyche, you guys already know her, level 60 with Psy 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 Kid and Power Dragon and Calm Mind. Then we have Fernando, level 64, with Rock Tomb, Dragon Pulse, Close Combat, and Aura Seer with the Lucario Knight as well. So, that's the team. We have some Pokemon who are extremely overleveled, and then we have some Pokemon who are extremely underleveled. I'm sorry for the imbalance. Um, I tried to balance it out and make it as equal as possible, but when you've been grinding for two and a half hours, and you try to, you know, equal it out, it just got really tedious. And especially, like, when the Pokemon you're fighting are, like, level... Level like 40, uh, something like that, 44, something around there. It got really tedious really fast. And the worst part about it is there's no speed up in this game. So I'm literally just sitting there grinding out encounters. There was one point, which I'm sure you guys might have saw if you guys watched back the time lapse. There was one point where I turned off the battle animations um, because it saved it saved that much time. Like usually I wouldn't do that because usually when you're speeding stuff up, it just looks better to have them there. Like just for the time lapses sake, it's more you know visually pleasing to have those animations going. But I, I got so sick of it, I just turned it off. So I'm sorry if you really wanted to see those animations, but um, it just got obnoxious. This buddy is level 58. This buddy is freaking level 58. Can you turn down? You're at about an 11. You're going to have to bring it down to about a 3. That's what I'd like to see from you. Worry seed. Ha! Ha! Now we're... Now we can't go to sleep. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I was laughing about that. Let's go over the fly. You know, we might as well get some experience. I know Buddy won't give out too much experience, but it just seems like an easy target. Oh, speaking of the battle animations, they're still not on. Okay. All right, let me go ahead and turn those back on. I'm sorry about that, my dudes. But yeah, Inigo here is incredibly powerful because we do have the Reckless ability. So that means when we get Brave Bird and also when we get... Um, actually, I don't even know. Does the Staraptor learn... Uh, what's it called? What's the what's the move called? I don't know. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say Brave Bird. Wait, when Starter does learn Brave Bird, basically it's gonna boost the power of that that attack because Reckless basically just boosts power to moves that do recoil. I don't think it counts for like uh, Life Orb because like we do have the Life Orb on him, but I don't I don't think that actually counts. Like I don't think it boosts every single attack just because Life Orb takes away some damage. I mean that'd be pretty insane if it actually did do that, but I don't think it does. All right, Karate Man, get out of here, boy trying to run past oh wait i just went up here why am i doing that i don't know anyways my dudes i'm in a really weird mood today in case you guys couldn't tell hopefully you guys are all having a fantastic oh it's skylar 2 it's skylar 2 hopefully you guys are all having a fantastic day a fantastic week once again i'm sorry for the inconsistency i really am i really am i don't even know really what to say uh this week really got away with me like i did the grinding uh a few days ago but then I never actually, like, I never just get to recording these episodes. Like, I never am able to find the time just to sit down. Okay, that, that could have been really dumb. I don't know what I'm thinking. Um, I never just get the time to sit down and record these. Because usually, you know, I have soloing to do, or I have schoolwork to do, or I have, you know, uh, streaming to do. That kind of takes precedent just because I haven't streamed in a while. I'm trying to really balance it all out. And the cool thing about now, though, uh, is that I'm on fall break. And if you guys don't know... Uh, what our fall break entails basically it's just two weeks throughout the fall and the reason why we have this break is because our summers are a bit shorter like usually our usually like the standard summer is like two and a half months or like maybe even three months if you're lucky uh, for us though it's basically two months exactly so like we we literally go back to school August 1st um, so yeah basically to make up for that we get like this this little break in fall to kind of you know Give us some of those days back. We're going to go and swap into, I think, Fernando. 
Can Frando handle this? I think he can. Yo, level 62. These Pokemon are terrifying me, man. And if you guys remember from the previous episode, which, by the way, shameless plug, if you guys missed the previous episode, you should definitely go back and check it out. Uh, if you guys remember from the previous episode, these Pokemon don't have moves that they should have. Like, it's the Pokemon from which they were randomized from. For some reason, every single person in this damn place um, abides by that law. They all have moves from the Pokemon they were previously incarnated from, which is a little bit insane because, you know, you don't know what to expect. Like, this man could pull out a, a flamethrower and we wouldn't even, we wouldn't even know. We wouldn't even expect it. Like, he just went for Future Sight, which we definitely got to be cautious of. So we definitely got to prepare for that. I really hope he doesn't catch me off guard. Yo, and get, get out of here! Huh! That was easy! That was easy. Why is my camera not focusing? Oh, never mind, it is. Yo, speaking of the camera, look at how nice the lighting is. Like, I literally, I turned on my camera today, and I was like, damn, the lighting looks so nice. And I think partially, uh, I think partially the reason for that, I think, wow, I can't speak. I think the reason for that is partially because, that's, that's English, uh, partially because I'm recording this at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm not recording at, like, 7 o'clock at night. I'm recording literally just dead on straight in the afternoon so the light from my window is coming in we got some natural light on my face we got some really nice light from the studio lights okay we need strength who wants to learn strength handy manny do you want to learn strength i think handy manny wants to learn strength i mean the good thing about this is that before the league we can always uh swap out strength for returns like we can fly back go to the move deleter uh get rid of of strength and put return back on there but i think for the time being handy manny's gonna rock out with strength and honestly at this point strength might be more powerful than uh return just because i don't know if handy manny really likes me i mean i'm kind of getting the vibe that he does because you know he's still on the team i mean well then again it's not like he has a choice <laughs> even if he hated my guts he couldn't leave that's that's cruel um Anyways, hopefully guys are off a fantastic day. My day's been really freaking productive. Like, I woke up at 10 o'clock, and what's so weird about it is, like, it wasn't even, like, I didn't even, like, set any al- Oh, man. Okay, the these people are incredibly tough. Uh, I'm pretty sure they have a, a Glade. A Glade? Oh, my God, that was my last- Okay. Okay, yeah, no, no. Yep, screw this. Screw this, we're not battling them right now. Um, I'm pretty sure they have a Gallade and a Metacham. And literally, like, I, I always have issues with these trainers. I mean, I guess it's mainly because it's a double battle, but also their Pokemon are really high leveled. It's scary. Spike Cannon! That was dumb. That was dumb of me. Why did I stay in? Or why did I try and run? That was dumb. Okay, let's be safe here. Let's swap into Psych. What we gotta do is we gotta go back to the Pokemon Center and grab a bunch of potions. Because at this point, we're really not... Not looking too good. What was I talking about, though? Oh, yeah, I was talking about Tay being really productive. So, uh, yeah, Tay was really productive. I woke up at about 10 or 11-ish. And, uh, yeah, I didn't set any alarms. Like, I literally just got up. Okay, you can stop this. Stop this. Closer, stop your BS. I'm not, I, I am not in the mood right now. At all. I am not in the mood. Not in the mood for your BS right now. Uh, see, I woke up at a reasonable time without any alarms or anything, which is really surprising because usually if I don't set an alarm, I end up sleeping until like three, three or four. Uh, and like usually even alarms don't wake me up half the time. Like for some strange reason, my, oh my God, stop. For some strange reason, my ringtone wakes me up. Like when somebody's trying to call me, but like my alarm tone just doesn't wake me up. And I, I usually set like five alarms. I set like five alarms on my phone and then I set like three alarms on my Google Home back there. And none of them usually wake me up. Um, so I was really lucky that I got up today because I needed to get up today because we had to get Soul Link done. Um, if you guys didn't know, I'm recording this on Tuesday, October 3rd, and there needs to be a Soul Link episode that's supposed to go up later tonight. So we had to get that recorded and, recorded and stuff. And if I wouldn't have gotten up, then we would have lost our consistency. So I'm really glad that I got up. I'm really glad that we're able to keep that series consistent. Which, by the way, if you guys did not see that episode, I'll go ahead and link it down below. Because this video should be going up uh, after the Soul Link episode goes up. And you guys may be wondering, Astrid, why are you recording this right now when you should be focusing on getting Soul Link ready for later tonight? Well, the reason why is because uh, Vinny is actually sending over his footage right now. So while he's doing that, and while I have to wait for his footage, I decided, hey, I'm going to record an episode of Why. So not only 
am I being productive? I'm also taking really, really, really good advantage of my time, so... That's really nice. Uh, I'm able to get this Y episode in, and hopefully, actually, I want to get, like, two episodes in. Because if I can, like, finish this series, if I can finish recording this series today, that would actually be the greatest thing of my life. Like, that would be... That would be the greatest thing ever. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying this. I want the series to end or anything. I'm not saying, like, I'm just anxiously waiting for it to end. But to be able to finally wrap up this series after six, seven months of recording it and editing it and uploading it like that'd be incredible because you know when a series goes on for that long um it, it'll be nice to just take a little bow tie and just wrap it up on this series because you know as much as i love it um for it to be going on for this long is absolutely absurd and i i fully admit that yo so i'm gonna go ahead and just buy a ton of hyper potions let's just buy you know what i think 40 is pretty reasonable I think 40 is pretty reasonable. We definitely need it. I used a lot of them during the grinding montage, and I totally forgot about it. All right, but there we go. Uh, yeah, well, no, that should be good. We'll, we'll wait until we actually get to Victory Road to keep stocking up on stuff. But in the meantime, let's put Polly. Actually, no, let's, put, let's keep Fernando up front. Just for now, because I want to be able to run away from things. Actually, actually, you know what? Let's pick up some repels. Because I really don't feel like running into encounters right now. Battle spot. This is where trainers are confident in their abilities. Battle. Battle in the battle spot. Yo, how many times could you say battle in one prompt? Like, you literally just said battle like five times. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm in a really weird mood. Alright, super repel. Let's scoop up 25 of those. We should be good to go to get through Victory Road. And, uh, yo, I just realized I have been wearing this shirt for like the past three days or at least like it, it seems like that because i recorded the soling episode in this shirt and now i'm recording why in this shirt i mean it's a really nice shirt i love just like the red uh you know up until like this year i haven't really had a lot of color in my wardrobe you know i usually just rock out with like grays and blacks which i know sounds really really edgy and really emo but i don't know i just kind of like just like the aesthetic of just gray and simplistic uh, simplistic blacks, you know, but I've actually been rocking out with a lot of color recently I now have this red shirt which beautifully matches the layout might I add looks so freaking incredible And also I have like this new tealish shirt um, Which is super dope, but yeah, like I, I wore this shirt in the last last episode of soul link And then I wore it in this today's episode of soul link and now I'm wearing it in Y. So this shirt is just all over the place. I would highly recommend it though It's a really nice shirt also, speaking of different colors, uh, I'm thinking about picking up some new beanies, because if you guys didn't know, I've been wearing this same beanie for years. Like, this beanie has been the OG beanie. This has been the channel beanie uh, forever. Like, I've gotten new beanies. Like, I've gotten... Uh, wow. 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 Is that... Is that Paul Lee's dad? How you doing, Manaphy? Let's go ahead and run away. Bow. Please run. There we go. There we go. We should probably spray a repel. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to get some new colored beanies. Like, I kind of want to get a maroon one, and then maybe even, like, a turquoise one. Um, I don't know. I just think it would look good. And, like, I, I, I always wear the same black beanie, and as much as I love this beanie, as much as it, how, like, ugh, wow, pause, I can't speak! As much as this beanie has, you know, represented the channel and become kind of, like, an icon on the channel, I think it would be nice to, you know, change things up, get some different colors up in here. Um, obviously this beanie will always be the number one, the best beanie, and it's kind of incredible, like, how far, uh, this beanie and I have, have come. Like, I, I hate to get sentimental over a, over a hat, but, like, when you, when you think about, like, what this beanie, like, represents, you know, when you think about, like, all the videos over the years that I've recorded with this beanie on my head and how it's become a staple of the channel, um, it's kind of crazy, you know, like, I... I, I will not record a video without it, you know, I will not stream without this beanie, like, this beanie has become, like, second nature to, to my internet persona, you know, like, I don't know, man, it's just crazy, it's crazy when you think about it, so anyways, we have a Gallade and a Metacham here, well, a Gallade and a Metacham, I know they're gonna have fighting and psychic type attacks, which kind of leads me to want to put psych up front as well as suffering up front, I think suffering and psych will be able to handle this pretty well, um, I mean, it really depends on what Pokemon they actually have, but I'm pretty sure they're going to have Fighting-type moves. They're going to have Psychic-type moves. And honestly, I am incredibly terrified. These trainers always do their worst, and it scares me. Brains and Brawn, Arman and Hugo. Heh. <laughs> Excadrill and Meganium. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, we can handle this, I think. <laughs> I hope, man. I'm scared. Level 64 and level 62. Okay, yeah, it's fine. Everything is fine. I'm gonna go for the Psychic on Meganium. And I'm gonna try and hit the Excadrill with a counter. Because I'm pretty sure they're gonna, they're gonna go for some phys- Ooh, you can't actually specify. Okay, we'll, we'll just go for counter. Even if it- Wow, reflect. Even if it hits the Meganium, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, Night Slash! Bro, chill. Chill. That's gotta be the Glade. Yeah, that's gotta be the Glade. Unless I'm totally misreading the situation. I could be doing that. Okay, counter's gonna fail. Um, let's go for one more Psychic on Meganium to finish him off. And then we'll go for... That will go for counter again. I, I think it's what we gotta do. Basically, right now, light screen, great. Basically, right now, Wobbuffet just has to be a punching bag. He has to be what he was raised to be. There's the Night Slash. Good. Okay, so we should be able to get a, a counter off. Psychic's gonna finish off Meganium. Now, will the counter work on the Excadrill? Ooh, never mind. It's gonna go on the Meganium. All right, there we go. Good job, Wobbuffet. Good job. I actually love Wobbuffet. Like, I've never used one in an LP. But, like, throughout, like, my grinding experience with him, he puts in nothing but the finest. It's actually absurd. It's actually absurd. This man's a freaking legend. Like, just with the, just with the amount of bulk he has, he makes for a really, really awesome uh, team member for these for these types of Nuzlocks. Alright, I'm gonna go for counter again. Just to kind of bait him out. Zen headbutt. Aw, oh, man, we avoided. Shoot. Shoot, actually, I don't know if he was going for Psyche or if he, go, if he was going for Wobbuffet. I wish if he was going for Wobbuffet, it would have landed, but unfortunately, that's not the case. All right, I'm just going to keep on sabotaging him until he decides to hit my Wobbuffet. And then once he does, the counter should be able to finish him off. I don't see a reason why it wouldn't. Zen Headbutt on Suffering. There we go. I'm sorry, but you activated my trap card. Ha! It's time to da -da 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 duel. Catch this counter. Super effective. Oh, wait, no, they did nothing. Wait, wait, does, does counter not, does counter not do super effective damage? Actually, I don't, I don't really know, like, the details when it comes to counter. Because it's a fighting type attack, so it should have been super effective. But maybe, maybe it wasn't because his attack wasn't super effective? I don't know, may, maybe it becomes, like, the, the, the type, like, type effectiveness of the move that was used against him. Honestly, I don't know. Suffering flinched! Ah, oh, come on, man. The one moment when you had to pull through and just knock this man out of the park. The one moment when his HP was just one away from him dying. Like, you just, you just had to do that, man. You just had to had to stall it out. But that's okay. Suffering, you did a good job, man. Uh, Sykes should be able to finish this man off. No problems at all. Excadrill, your, your plot was thwarted. Your plot was non-existent. Your plans failed. Fish and mailed. Get wrecked. Yeah, I'm in a really weird mood today. <laughs> I feel like the best Y episodes, though, come for when I'm in a really weird mood. Because then I'm able to just sit here and ramble about whatever I want, you know? Because, like, like some of the Y episodes that I've tried to record in the past, um, like, you guys, if you guys have been, have been sticking with the series for a while, you guys know I've, I have my days where I just can't commentate. Like, I sit down to record this series, and I just, I just can't do it. I just sit down, and words just will not flow to my mouth. Um... And, like, on, on those days, I feel like those are the days where I'm just kind of, like, I'm kind of at a loss of what to say. Like, one of the hardest parts about Let's Playing, in my opinion, is just the commentary. Like, you just... The problem with commentating is that you always got to find something to talk about. Because it gets really, really boring if you're sitting there, like, just talking about the game or sitting there and, like, you know, finding stuff to say. Like, like you got to be on your toes. You got to be really on top of things to make for an interesting video. And that's like the main thing, like if I were to say one thing that I've learned while doing YouTube, or like one basic thing that I've learned is that when you're commentating, you gotta keep going. You just gotta keep rolling with it. You gotta roll with the flow. Onyx, please die. <laughs> Stop with the sturdy shenanigans and get out of here. Like with with commentating, you gotta be really creative. Um, and honestly, I gotta, I gotta give big credits to my boy Vinny for this because I feel like I would not be uh, nearly as good of a commentator, and I, I don't even, I don't even consider myself to be a good commentator, I mean, I try, but I feel like without, like, being and working with Vinny, I would not be able to commentate as well as I do today, because just like, like, honestly, it's, it's a talent, like, being able to sit there and just come up with stuff on the spot, like, that's a really impressive thing to do, 
Uh, especially when you're trying to be entertaining, especially when you're trying to play a game at the same time. Like, it might not seem that tough, uh, but it really is. So big props go to Vinny, because this man always manages to pull out the finest commentary. Uh, and it's, it's really, really impressive, honestly. So I learned a lot from him. I, I don't know where I'm going with this. I really am just rambling like crazy. What was the original point of this? Oh yeah, commentary is really important Important to those of you guys who are trying to become uh, content creators, to those of you guys who are trying to improve your content. Com commentary is really important. It's really important to be able to think off the top of your head, keep the conversation going, all that type of stuff. Yo, so Handy Manny, I don't want to go into him. Uh, I don't know who to go into, actually. Kind of, kind of, kind of worried here. I'm going to go ahead and heal up. Because this Quagsire has the face of a dead man. <laughs> he he looks like he's about to murder my entire family. Like, look at that face! Look at that face! This man's out for everybody you love. He's trying to kill and murder your entire family. Like, you can just tell. He has a very smug look on his face. But, yo, speaking of... Well, actually... I wouldn't say speaking of. Um, but that, that whole tangent reminded me of... Uh, reminded me of Rick and Morty. I've actually been watching a lot of Rick and Morty recently. I'm about I'm about halfway through season two and uh, It's an incredible show. Thanks to all the guys who recommended it to me. Uh, I'm really enjoying it It's a really funny really inappropriate, but really funny show for uh, the, the older peeps out there if you guys want to go ahead and scoop that up and check it out It's on Hulu if you guys want to watch it uh, I actually signed up for a free trial of Hulu just to watch Rick and Morty and it's been really good. Like, I've been heavily enjoying it. We're gonna go over the psychic, body this Quagsire, get this man out of here. By far, my favorite character is Rick. Uh, I feel like that's kind of generic. I feel like that's, like, really, really basic. Uh, and honestly, I don't really know much about the whole Rick and Morty fan base. I've heard good and bad things about it, so I'm not really gonna say much about it. Uh, yeah, we use another repel. Why not? Why not? Uh, let's go ahead and battle you real quick. But yeah, like... I don't know. I feel like that's a really generic answer to say that Rick is my favorite character, but he honestly is. Like, just his, like, careless attitude and, uh, just his savagery is really entertaining to watch. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and... I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll reorder the team. Let's put... Let's put Inigo up front. Why not? Why not? I'm really afraid. Like, I'm trying to get some more experience on these lower-leveled Mons, but... I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. Something like an RK9. Hi, RK9. How are you doing, RK9? I'll stop saying that. That's obnoxious. Here's Inigo. Now, I would keep Inigo in, but we're, what, 22 levels below? I'm not about to play these games. Let's go into, uh, let's go into Psych. Yeah, I'm just really worried because, like, especially when it comes to, like, Polly, I gotta get Polly to higher level. Uh, because as of right now, we have no way to fight fire types. And if we find a single tough fire type we're gonna be in a really bad spot he's going for bullet seeds i'm assuming this is a gorgeist and if that's the case then the ghost type attacks could be terrifying uh but i'm just not i'm just not gonna not gonna acknowledge it i'm just going to assume that he doesn't have a ghost type attack i'm gonna go for psychic come on man he goes for the flamethrower okay this man i don't know what this man is i have no idea what pokemon this man could be bullet seed and flamethrower what pokemon can learn bullet seed and flamethrower and who would belong to a ghost type trainer. I I'm lost. <laughs> I'm lost. Wait, is there is there a fire and grass type Pokemon? Is there a single Pokemon that has the fire and grass typing? I feel like that's such a cool typing. Am I am I just really dumb? Am I just not thinking about anything? I, d I don't think there is a fire and grass type Pokemon. Yo, do you guys remember when Victini was released? Um, so some of you guys might be too young to remember, which is honestly really, really weird because Victini was Gen 5. Like, I feel like Gen 5 was really recent. Um, but yeah, no, back when Victini was announced and released, uh, like one of its biggest selling points was that it was the first fire and psychic type Pokemon to ever be made. And I, I remember reading that when I was in, when I was like really into Gen 5 and thinking, wow, the first fire and psychic type Pokemon, like that was... That was unfathomable to me at that time. Uh, like, I, I distinctly remember going to whatever the island was, getting the ticket, and then catching Victini as the first fire and psychic type Pokemon. Like, that was incredible. Oh, you heal me. Shoot, I totally just wasted that potion. That was stupid. That was stupid. This man heals me. All right, let me go ahead and grab that ball real quick. Quick ball. Yay! Yay! All right, so we're going to be fighting Serena here. Which is a little bit terrifying, not even gonna lie. I'm gonna keep Inigo in. 
we got to get some more experience on them. You know, whether I like it or not. We're going to be going into the league soon. And as of right now, they are not ready for the league. I, I, don't, I don't even know what to do, man. Like, I feel like I have to grind, but I don't know. I've been thinking ever since all that trouble in Geosenge. Lysandre chose only Team Flare. You and I chose everyone but Team Flare. But since our positions forced our hands, you can't really say any of us were right. Well, I mean, Lysandre was definitely wrong. <laughs> I mean, come on now. We, Yeah, sure, none of us were really right, but we definitely know who's wrong. Like, I, I don't think blowing up the planet just because it's not beautiful is in any world or universe, like, right, Serena. Are, are you morally okay? Is your is your moral compass okay? <laughs> Do you have to see a doctor? That's why I feel that if both sides have something to say, maybe it's best to meet halfway. No! No! Serena, so, there's no compromising when the world is at stake! So I made a decision. If not, I don't want to battle you just to win, but I want to see... <laughs> Shut up, Serena. Shut up, Serena. Let's just battle. Let's just battle. There, in no way, shape, or form was Lissandre okay. Alright, don't even give me that crap. Marowak. Okay, this man's gonna have, like, a Psychic-type attack, he's gonna have, like, Fake Out and stuff, uh, cause it's gonna be the Meow Stick. So we're gonna go ahead and swap into my boy. Let's go into my boy. Let's go into my boy Suffering. I think Suffering has this. He has the bulk. And he go, get out of there, grab that experience, and get out, boy. You gotta yeet. You gotta yeet out. That was really dumb. Wow. Wow, I, I regret everything about that statement. Anyway, Suffering's chilling here. We're gonna get the Leftovers Recovery, which is really freaking nice. Suffering is honestly so dope. I know we're 10 levels ten levels below, but this man still puts in the finest of work. We're gonna go for the Mirror Code. It goes for Shadow Ball. We're definitely taking this hit, right? There's no way we're not taking it. There we go. Hit him with that Mirror Coat. Body this man. Body this man. I love Wobbuffet. This man is an absolute tank. He's so dope. Okay, let's go over the Mirror Code again. Shadow Ball, ha! You, you fell into my trap card, ha! Catch this mirror code, boy. All right, who's next? Who's next? So I kind of know her team, maybe. If I can remember, I kind of know what her team consists of. So we'll try and play around that. And he goes level 41, which is dope. Agility, ah! Now we'll keep old moves. We don't need agility. I'm still waiting on Brave Bird. Once I get Brave Bird, uh, Indigo is going to be a freaking legend. Alright, so Feebass, ha, ha, you're pitiful. You are absolutely pitiful. You know what? Let's give this to Suffering. Suffering has this. What are you going to go for, man? I don't know whether it's going to be physical or special. I'm just going to go for, oh, it's physical. Okay. I'm going to pull out the Night Slash. I made a fatal error. So yeah, we can, we can assume that these Pokemon are going to have something to use against us. Uh, I was talking about it a few episodes ago, but... When they swap in a Pokemon on your Pokemon, there's a good chance that even if the Pokemon itself isn't super effective, it has moves that, you know, are super effective. So ha this man having Night Slash was probably to be expected. This might be the Absol, actually. This could be the Absol. I mean, if so, that's a very lame interpretation of, of Absol. I'm I'm sorry, Absol. You really got gypped here as a Feebass. But catch this counter, my dude. Get out of here. Feebass isn't quite gonna die. That's really obnoxious because now I gotta waste another counter on this thing And we gotta take some more damage from this thing, but it's okay. You know with suffering. It's all about the waiting game It's all about you know sitting sitting in the waiting room waiting for your doctor to come out and say that's your turn Yo, I I hate I hate waiting rooms Like one of the one of the worst waiting experiences. I don't know like where you guys get your haircuts um, But like, if you guys have ever been to great clips like you literally you walk in and if you don't schedule that appointment, if you don't schedule ahead of time, you literally end up sitting there for like 20 minutes. And the chairs they have in there, it's awful. Like, it's actually garbage. Jump off, my boy. I'm going to heal up just to be safe because I don't know what this thing has to offer. I'm a little bit terrified. But yeah, I mean, I, I'll admit it. I go to Great Clips. Um, it's cheap. It's easy. They they do what I want. I, I could probably, you know, try and go to a better hairstylist, but honestly, I don't really know of any other hairstylist in the area um, outside of Great Clips. Like, Great Clips is really the only one. They kind of dominate the, the vicinity here when it comes to haircuts. They have a monopoly over here. Uh, I'm going to go for... What did he go for? What did he just go for? I wasn't even paying attention. Shoot, I don't know if it's physical or special. I'm going to go for the mirror coat. Muddy water. Okay, yeah, it was special. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. I'm pretty sure I even said Muddy Water. Or maybe I didn't. I don't know. Go for the Mirror Coat. Body this man. Does Mirror Coat have 100% accuracy? 
or like like uh always hitting accuracy not even 100 percent like is the accuracy drop going to affect our our mirror coat chances he goes for muddy water again yeah this is just uh just a stally game it's just uh just a stalling game mirror coat all right we haven't missed a mirror coat yet so i guess we're in the clear but yeah the chairs they have in great clips like they're, they're just it's just plastic like they're even worse than school chairs because at least school chairs like there's a little bit of you know like solid solidity to them like you know they're a lot more solid but like with great clips you literally sit down in one of those chairs and you feel like you could fall through at any moment like it's so thin it's literally just thin plastic it's a little bit absurd i don't know why i'm talking about great clips as chairs wow wow when i said i was in a weird mood today i really meant it <laughs> Oh my god, hopefully you guys are enjoying the episode though. Um, Murkrow, okay. Now, this man should have dark type attack. Blah, dark, blah, dark, let me take a step back. Dark type attacks, but I really don't know. I'm just going to a poly. Let's get some, blah, get some experience on poly because I really, really want to make our, our poly a lot stronger. If poly could get up to par, uh, she could be an incredible, or he slash she, could be an incredible Pokemon on our, on our team right now. Because just look at this move set. Look at that move pool. Like this man has so much coverage, and the fact that he counteracts uh, fire types is going to be really, really useful. Let's swap into. Let's go to Fernando. Let's go into Fernando. Hopefully he doesn't pull out like an earthquake or a fire blast. That'd be a little bit absurd. I honestly don't remember much of her team, so I don't know what this could be. Confide. What? What does she have? Special attack bell. What does she have? I'm gonna Mega Evolve and go for the Rock Tomb. Also, we learned Dragon Pulse. I don't know. I don't know if this was during the grinding or if this was in the previous episode. Uh, but yeah, we have Dragon Pulse now, in case you guys are wondering. I got rid of Calm Mind for it. And the reason why is because I figured, you know, we're really not gonna be spending that much time trying to set up. And I figured having that extra coverage would be really nice. Dazzling Gleam, that's neutral. We're taking it to the bank, eating it for breakfast. Let's go for the Rock Tomb again and absolutely body this man. And, you know, I was thinking about getting rid of Rock Tomb too, but. I don't know, I like, I like having the Rock-type coverage and also being able to lower uh, Pokemon's speed like that is really, really nice. Alright, Polly's getting a bunch of experience. Quillfish, I'll swap back into Polly for even more experience. I really just gotta, I gotta milk this experience, man. And you guys may be wondering, Astro, why don't you put on the experience share? Because, I don't know. <laughs> I probably should, but the thing about the experience share is that each, po each individual Pokemon is gonna grow slower than if we individually swap out the ones that are low. And then also, like, Fernando's gonna gain a bunch of experience from the experience share, which he really does not need. Like, that experience needs to go towards Pauline. Um, so I was thinking, like, instead of spreading it out equally over everybody, um, and just overall giving less individually and then more to, like, the Pokemon that don't need it, I figured we could just swap it out to where we individually train, like, Switch train, I should say. Individual Pokemon that actually need it. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, I'm gonna go for the Dragon Pulse. Might as well. See what this man can do. Hit him with the Dragon Pulse. Kamehameha! I've never seen Dragon Ball. <laughs> break, break. Boy, you better chill. You better chill! This man's getting crits. This man's getting crits. I don't like it. I don't like it, but I've never seen Dragon Ball. I've been urged... To watch Dragon Ball, I just haven't really gotten around to it. Like, Vinny's been dying for me to watch Dragon Ball uh, ever since I met him, pretty much. And I, I plan to eventually, but it's like, I don't know, I haven't really had the time. Extreme speed? Okay, that could actually be really nice. That could be really nice. Uh, do I get rid of Rock Tomb? I was literally just talking about how I love that Rock type coverage, but I feel like, I feel like we should get rid of Rock Tomb for it. Because I, I have I have this feeling, right? I have this feeling that E speed is gonna come in handy. Like, like really come in handy. I mean, worst case scenario, if we decide that we don't want E speed, we could always swap it out and just relearn Rock Tomb. Good game, Serena. So I still can't beat you. I mean, what a surprise. <laughs> what a surprise, man. Never would have guessed it. All this emotional music. It's hard to put a finger on it exactly, but I feel like you and I are alike. And that's why I didn't want to lose to you. I I really don't like the rivals. I mean Man, it just it just like these types of moments just makes me makes me makes me wish that the mean rivals were back. Like the the rivals 
from like Gen 1 and like Gen 2. Um, because like these rivals just like they undermine the whole situation and it feels like I don't know. It's like I don't I don't want them to be our friends. Like they're rivals for a reason, you know? Like I want them to to oppose us. I want them to be like an antagonist to us. I'm renewing my rivalry with you. Could you even call it a rivalry? I mean, I know you're trying to beat me and everything, but like since you're my rival, I want you to become the stronger. Yeah, it's like She's rivaling us, but it's like it's like a beneficial rivalry. I don't want that. I don't want that. I want I want you to be a jerk to me. Like, like if anything, it's just a cooperative friendship of growing together. It's not like it's not like them opposing you in any way. It's just like, yeah, we're gonna grow stronger together, and I'm gonna keep battling you as as benchmarks for your journey. Can I rock smash this? Shoot. Alright, whatever. I don't, I don't care. I don't want that item. Anyways, though, my dudes, uh, we're not going to wrap up this episode just yet because I feel like we haven't made that much progress. We're going to make it out of Victory Road, then in the next episode, alright, that's when it's going to get real. That's when it's going to get real because we're going to be taking on the Elite Four slash Champion. And, uh, well, actually, we'll probably do the Elite Four in one episode, and then we'll do the Champion in the final episode. So I've got to steady my right arm at this angle, but left hand goes on my hip, and... Now I just bend my knees down ever so slightly. I'm Loki kind of doing it. And stick up my chest like this. Oh, I'm sorry. I did, what was she trying to do? What was she trying to do? Like, what? Some sort of dance routine? Okay. She's a frillish. All right. That's cute. But yeah, I'm so excited to wrap up this LP. Like, to finally make it to the champion in the Elite Four. After all this time. Six months. Six months, my dudes. Like, it's going to be absurd. It's going to absolutely be absurd. So I think what we got to do is we just got to capitalize on these trainers. We got to get as much experience out of them as physically possible. And then we should be good to go. Flamethrower, I'm pretty sure this is a slow king, actually. Aren't, aren't you a slow king? If I remember correctly from uh, when I originally played the game. Woo, 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 pew! Bam, now. Surf? All right, we're taking that. Yeah, it's definitely a slow king. That's definitely a slow king. Yo, I'm still hung up on the whole grass fire type Pokemon. Is there really no grass fire type? You guys are gonna have to let me know down below in the comment section. And if there is a grass fire type Pokemon, um, like when I when I realize it, I I will I will flip everything. <laughs> like it's gonna be I'm gonna be slapping myself for that one. Um, Mandibuzz, let's switch out. We really can't do much to a Mandibuzz. Let's go into Suffering. Another thing that I wanted to mention is um, is a My Hero Academia. Uh, if you guys aren't aware, it's an anime. It's a fantastic show, in case you guys are, are wanting to see it. Sing! Boy, stop! Stop, 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 stop. But yeah, My Hero Academia Season 2 actually just wrapped up, and it was incredible. Like, for those of you guys who are not watching My Hero Academia, uh, do yourself a favor and give it a shot, because honestly, like, the way Season 2 wrapped up was fantastic. I'm honestly really, really happy with that final episode. And for those of you guys who are watching My Hero Academia, please don't leave spoilers uh, down below in the comment section. Because there are a fair, a fair a lot of people who uh, either aren't watching the manga like me, or wa wow, watching, wow, are reading the manga like me, or just aren't caught up with the anime. So uh, definitely keep keep spoilers away. Or if you're gonna spoil something, then just say spoiler alert at the top of your comment. But anyways, uh, yeah, it's a little bit wild. This series is honestly climbing the ranks for me. Like, you know, when I saw season one when it first came out, I was kind of like, yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I'm liking this. But now that, like, season two is out and it's come to fruition and it's, like, been fleshing out a lot of the characters and uh, really just amping things up by a thousand, uh, it's made me realize that this show, if I can freaking speak, this show is becoming one of my favorites, like, of all time. Uh, it's it's really freaking good. So anyways, I brought this up because I actually started re-watching it after season two ended. So, oh my god, stop! Stop this at once! I gotta... I gotta put up a safeguard. This is absurd. This is actually absurd. But actually, I started rewatching season one because when season two came out, I didn't watch season one again. So it literally has been years since I've seen, or not years, maybe like a year and a half since I've seen uh, season one. So I started rewatching season one. I know I'm wasting four stores here, but I, I gotta get the safeguard up. Um, and yeah, it's it's like, like looking back on it and watching it now that I know what happens in season two, is wild like it's 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 weird man it has me it has me invested on a whole new level and i started picking up on some things that 
you know, you wouldn't really notice unless you saw season two. So it's really cool they planned ahead like that. Luckily, we avoided that because now we have the safeguard up, which is really nice. Now he can't put us to sleep. Now we're duking vibing. Now we're dancing around at the speed of sound. Anyways, this episode might be an hour of power, which if it is, it's freaking awesome. Because I really want to start bringing, uh, not necessarily longer episodes, but I feel like since the series has been super inconsistent, I feel like you guys deserve the longer episode. Oh, shoot, we can't, we can't mirror code him. Crap. Okay, yeah, we gotta swap out. We can't mirror code him. Shoot, this sucks. Alright, let's go into Fernando. Let's go into Fernando. I just realized because he's a dark type, so psychic type moves have no effect. So, yeah, even, e even with mirror code and, like, even with, uh, counter and stuff, if we try to counter a ghost type, it's not going to work. If we try to, you know, mirror code a dark type, that's not going to work either. So, type effectiveness does have some sort of, you know, input here. I'm going to go for the Aura Sphere because this man is very physically bulky, but not so specially bulky. And fighting is, is neutral. On top of that, we have the Adaptability Stab Boost. So, let's go and knock him out. Kamehame! Ha! I keep making these Dragon Ball references, but I feel like I have no right. I feel like I I have no obligation to be making these references, especially with me not having seen Dragon Ball. So I'm sorry. I'm I really am sorry. Really, really am sorry. But yeah, today's been a wild day. It's really productive. Uh I already said that. <laughs> man, I don't know what to talk about, man. What strength? Just what kind of ranger are you? Ranger? What the hell? Who do you think I am, dude? Who do you think I am? Do I look like a ranger to you? Do I, do, I, do I look like a ranger? You think, you think I'm from the third Pokemon movie? Speaking of Pokemon movies, I gotta watch, like, every single Pokemon movie in order. Uh, like, very, very soon here, I wanna do a, um... I wanna do, like, a Pokemon movie watching marathon. And speaking of movies and stuff, look out! Because for those of you guys who are sponsoring the channel, which, thank you guys so much for sponsoring, by the way. You guys are incredible. Uh, for those of you guys who are sponsors on our channel, and if you guys don't know what, what a sponsor is, basically, you pay five bucks a month, um, and you get to support me, and you get a bunch of different perks, like uh, a separate Discord chat for sponsors. You get a little icon next to your name in the live stream chat. You get your name to be green. You get access to videos early. That kind of stuff. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. So we're going to be doing a sponsor movie night, I think, is the is the movement right now. We're thinking about doing a, uh, like, a movie night. Every single week, we're going to get a bunch of the sponsors and, uh, and basically get a Discord call together where we sit and just watch movies. So if you guys are down for that, let us know. Um, and then also, we're probably going to get Vinny involved in all of his sponsors. Basically, just every single week, we'll get into a call together, we'll watch a movie, and it'll be freaking awesome. Uh, so definitely, definitely look out for that. And also, I want to bring a lot more perks to sponsors outside of the typical ones. And I don't know. I don't know. I'm really, really working towards that. I'm trying to actually revamp our live streams. Yo, it's Vinny. It's Vinny. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. But yeah, no, I'm trying to revamp our live streams. My my main goal with live streams, and I've been talking about it on Twitter. Shameless plug, if you guys want to go follow me on Twitter, it's at Asteroid Videos. Follow me for updates on videos and streams. This man's going for Thunderbolt. Okay. Um, but yeah, I really want to, like, I want to try and push live streams to the point to where they're very similar to videos. Because, like, the one thing about live streams is that, yeah, the content is live, but by going live, you sacrifice a lot of the stuff you can do with videos. Like, you sacrifice editing, you sacrifice different visual effects and stuff like that. So what I want to do is I want to try and bridge the gap between streams and videos. Like, I know a lot of people like to watch live streams after the fact. Um, and I just want to make them more video-like, if that makes any sense. I want to try and make it to where, like, the, the difference between my videos and my streams are very, are very, what's the word? What's the word? Very, uh, insubstantial or unsubstantial? I don't know. I want to put them closer together, alright? Just so that way, you know, when you're watching it back after the fact, it doesn't feel like a live stream. It feels like just a, an hour or two of, of video content. Um, I, I basically just want to up the, the production quality of the stuff that I'm doing live. That That's kind of what I'm thinking. So we have a Yuxi here, which is a little bit absurd. And if you get, in case you guys are wondering, like, how I'm going to pull that off, I have a bunch of different plans, like I want to use the stream deck, which you guys might have saw me mention on stream, but it's the Elgato stream deck. It, it's basically a button panel where you can activate a bunch of different sources and scenes with just a few button presses. Uh, so I want to use that to my full advantage. Also I want to add a bunch more like animations and just general like effects to our live streams. Um, add a bunch of like, 
like stuff I could do in editing, like close-ups and zoom-ins, and I really just want to amplify that. And then also, uh, I'm thinking about getting rid of the starting soon screen, and instead just like scheduling our live streams, and then like the second, you know, the stream actually starts, we just go live. Maybe there's a little bit of an intro or whatever, and then we just get straight into it. Um, and the reason why I'm thinking about that is because like, when you go to watch a stream after the fact, that, that starting soon screen is the first thing you're met with. Uh, so that definitely caters more to a live audience than it does to like somebody who's watching after the fact I really just want to make it so that way whether you're watching after the fact or whether you're watching like in the moment um, It's an enjoyable experience both ways. So hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully you guys like where I'm going with it uh, It's gonna take a lot of work to push it to that point, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try I'm gonna try we'll see what happens. He's going for aerial lace. All right, that's fine We're taking those hits for days. We're eating it up for breakfast lunch and dinner. You got a pancake. I got a waffle. We're Eat, eating it. <laughs> what the hell? Die, Yuxi, die! Get out of here, man. One of my favorite things, uh, going back to My Hero Academia, uh, no spoilers, but just like when Bakugo screams die and like, like does some random stuff, like, I, I, I've got, I've grown a lot more fond of Bakugo after watching season one again, um, which I, I know is probably really out of the, out of the loop for those of you guys who aren't watching the series, but, uh, hi. If battling strategies could be described using colors, I wonder what color yours would be. Mine be a, it'd be a bright orange. Just really, really bright orange. Cause I'm spoopy, boy! I'm a spoopy man. I'm a spoopy man. Happy Halloween, by the way. It's October, so that means it's Halloween. Also, shout out to, uh, all the awesome people on Twitter who have been sending in, uh, like, spoopy profile pictures. I'll put, uh, some of them on screen right now, but... I've, I've been switching my profile picture around trying to get into that spoopy vibe and I changed my name on Twitter to uh, Gast Gastroid Mania videos, which uh, is a name that Quintavious came up with. So shout out to Quintavious. This man's a freaking legend. He's going for thunder. Oh, we're too good at vibing. We're too good at vibing. We're too good at vibing. I'm pretty sure we could take a thunder. Actually, can we? Can we take a thunder? I'm going for the mirror coat. Please tell me we could take. Oh, man. I feel like the fact that this thing is missing, I feel like, I feel like that's the universe telling us that we shouldn't stay in. Yo, Alex, thank you so much for the sub, my dude. I appreciate it. Oh my God. All right, we're taking it. We're taking it. And that was a crit. Oh no, don't be paralyzed. Yes. Thank you, Alex. I appreciate it, man. Your, your, your timing was impeccable. Thank you, man. Welcome to the Lapras Legion. I appreciate it. Yeah, I totally forgot. I, I sometimes forget about these alerts. Uh, but yeah, if you guys are wondering, I do have the alerts going throughout the videos. So if anybody happens to subscribe or whatever while I'm recording, then you get to get a little bit of a shout out in the video. I actually really like that. And you guys seem to enjoy it as well, so that's awesome. Alright, so, let's see. Suffering kind of took a little bit of a beating there, but it's okay. We'll go ahead and forward store him up. I feel like we need to grind before the league, but I don't know if I want to. <laughs> like, I know we should. I know we should, but... I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I I feel like... I don't know. I, I really like... In this recording session, I really want to go ahead and finish the series. Like, I'm thinking about literally sitting down and just finishing this LP today. Uh, and I feel like if I did a grinding time lapse, I would not be able to do that. Yo, why did I stay in? Why did I stay in? He has ancient power. Why did I stay in? Why did I stay in? I'm stupid. That was dumb. Yo, Krogunk, die! Woo! Inigo, you're a savage! That was good. That was good. Good job, Inigo! Despite your disadvantage, you still pull through. We're gonna keep battling just to get that experience. Um... But yeah, no. Speaking of, like, Krogunk and stuff, I'm playing a lot of Pokken, in case you guys couldn't tell from the live streams. I'm playing a lot of Pokken. And honestly, it's so funny to me that Poke- that, uh, Krogunk is a playable character now, and he's also a support character. So you could- you could literally be Krogunk with a support Krogunk, fighting a Krogunk that also has a support Krogunk. It's- it's really ridiculous. Pokken's been a lot of fun. I love Pokken. Okay, um, let's go into Suffering. I feel like Suffering is kind of like my go-to, just because of how bulky he is. Which, I mean, it's a pretty safe go-to. I mean, this man takes hits. So, Swords Dance, okay. Oh my god. Okay, you need to stop. You need to stop with a capital S. Oh my god. Oh my god, stop. Stop it right now. Stop it right now. We have to counter him. Go for... Oh my... Oh my god, we're dead. We're dead. Are you kidding me? 
Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Take the hit! Take the hit! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my fuck. Get the. Get the. Get out! Get out, Gyarados! There's the door! There's the door! You. You fu- No! No! Screw you, you piece of- That actually pissed me off. That actually- No! Shut- Stupid bush! Looking like Kirby having ass. Shut up! <laughs> ah! Come on. That was BS. That was- That was BS. That was BS. I don't care anymore. I don't care anymore. Oh my god. I mean, listen, that could have been a lot worse. That could have- Wow! Wow! No! No! Jeez! Stop! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god, my heart can't take this, dude. My heart can't take this. No, Slacking, get out. Get your stupid, stupid lazy having a- Get out of here. No. I don't like this one bit. I- Yep. Not the fan. Not the biggest fan. If I had to- If I had to state as to whether I was a fan or not, I would say, yep, nope, not- Not a fan. Not a fan, I'm an air conditioner. Get out of here. Slacking, you suck. Slacking, you suck. I don't like this at all. I don't like this at all. Man, we have to grind, but like, especially now with suffering gone, we let's let's just let's just get through this. I tell the trainer we see on Ricky Road and body. My body is ready. Ha! Huh? Get it? Cause it's Reggie. My body is Reggie. Slow, bro. Okay. Man, I just that just killed my mood. Losing suffering just killed my mood. Yep. My mood is dead. My mood is gone. Man, what do I even do? Fernando, I guess? Fernando, I guess? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Let's go into psych. Yeah, I am not a fan of... Th I, don't, I don't even know what to say. This is not... This is not okay. At all. What hammer? Wow, that's powerful. That is incredibly powerful. Okay, it's all right though. Um, let's try and calm mind up. Let's try and get a sweep going. There you go, psych. Calm your mind. Whoop 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 pew. Get that stat boost. Oh yeah. Shadow claw. Okay, you can stop now. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't like this. Ah, not ether. Not ether. Not ether. Not ether. Uh, hyper potion. There we go. I, I don't even know what to say anymore. I'm just really, really upset that we lost Wobbuffet. Because this man was putting in nothing but the finest. Like, this man was actually a savage. So it really, really sucks that, you know, we had to lose him like that. Let's go for Thin Power Dragon. It's neutral. Uh, we're plus one. It should do some good damage, I think. Eh, did okay. Shadow Claw. We're taking that hit for day. Not quite. We're still taking the hit pretty well, though. Go for Hidden Power again. Hopefully this one knocks him out. Plus one, there's the Calm Mind boost, and boom! Got here, slow bro. But yeah, it's really unfortunate, because Suffering was incredibly bulky. I was I was really looking forward to relying on him for a lot of these upcoming battles, because with his bulk and the amount of 
potential he had. I was really looking forward to, you know, bringing him, bringing him through the championship. But nope, Gyarados had to set up with plus, plus four and go for an X-Scissor out of nowhere. That's fine. Yeah, that's cool. It's like you're taking that hit, right? Okay. Yeah, that's the biggest thing that's been screwing us over. It's just, it's just the move sets, man, because we don't know. We don't know what these mons are going to have. So it, it can literally catch us off guard like that at any instant. Which really sucks. Like, we may think we're in a good position, but then all of a sudden, this man pulls on an X scissor and we're screwed. You know? I mean, that again, he was plus three, but still, like... I don't know. I, I don't think there was anything anything different I could have done. I mean, obviously, I could have tried to swap out, but I didn't, I didn't know what he could have had. I mean, you never know, man. And after I knew he had X scissor, I knew Psych wasn't safe. And... I don't know. I don't know. Earl K Katrina. With the Empoleon, I know, speaking of Pokken, Empoleon being in Pokken is so dope. I, I honestly love it. I honestly love it. Empoleon's a dope Pokemon. Okay, um, I'm afraid of this thing, so I'm gonna swap. Going to my boy Fernando. Him with that close combat of that Aura Sphere. It's like, yeah, we think we're okay going to Fernando, but he could literally pull out a Flamethrower. I mean, we don't know. We don't know. Blizzard? Psh! Boy, who the hell do you think I am? Who the hell do you think I am? Mega Lucario! Wub 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 wub! Yeah! Fernando, let's go, boy! Ha! Bow, bow, bow. Or sphere this man! Wub 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 wub! Pew! You see, now I've just resorted to making, you know, really dumb sound effects and passing it off as commentary. Like, that's just disappointing. I've reached a whole new low at this point. Do gong, do gong, gong, gong. Let's keep battling. I mean, at least, at least we're gaining some experience, but like. This is like one of the final battles before the league, so we're really not in a good spot at all. Maybe I should have just kept the experience share on. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being stupid. I can see the youth isn't all they have. You just get like experience, something, something, experience, experience. I don't know, man. All right, here we go. This is the final battle before the league. It's about freaking time. Literally took us like two hours of power to get through this place. Honestly, absurd. This man's pulling out a timber. Okay. I'm calling Timber, you better move, you better dance, let's do the night, you won't remember. I'm, I'm staying in, by the way. Uh, this might be really stupid, but I think Inigo can handle it. After what Inigo did to that Krogunk, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, there we go, Inigo's got this. That's what I thought, that's what I thought. I figured I'd give uh, Inigo a little bit of a shot here, you know. Chingling? All right, you know what? Let's keep going with Inigo. I think Inigo can handle a Chingling. I mean, it's just a freaking Chingling. Let's go, boy. Hit him with that fly. Hit him with that fly. Whoa, whoa, pew! Ha! Psychic? Easy, dude. Actually, maybe not. That could do a lot of damage. Please kill. Oh, no. Okay, maybe I was being dumb. Maybe I was really stupid. Inigo! Ah! Okay. We have speed, right? Damn. Okay, I took a risk and it, it kind of paid off. That was still incredibly risky. That was still... Oh! 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 <laughs> Woo! I forgot about life form! I forgot about life form! Damn! <laughs> Inigo, you savage! You savage! Wow! I forgot about life form. <laughs> oh my god. I forgot about life form. <laughs> Oh my god. Inigo is a god. This man's a god. Good shit. He's going for payback. Oh no, stop this. Stop this! Oh, I don't like that. That was a crit. Yeah, no, Inigo. <laughs> Inigo, you savage. Absolute savage. I love this man. <sighs> okay, that was a dumb risk. And I, I forgetting about Life Orb was incredibly stupid. But we're out of here. We're out of here, boys. Victory Road is over. The Pokemon League. Dude. Dude, this is it. After six months. Six months. We're finally about to finish this game. Whether it ends in a failure or a success. Who knows? Who knows? I really don't know what I want to do. Uh, because at this point, like, I kind of just want to go in and just rush in, but I know that's not going to be smart at all. 
Like, I know that'd be the dumbest thing I could possibly do at this point. But... I don't know. Yo, look at this death box. I don't know. I don't know what I should do. Um... I feel like if we go in now, we're going to lose. I Or should I just take the risk? I don't know. I'm going to actually... I'm going to put Riolu on the team. Should I? Yeah. <laughs> so we have... Or should I, should I just put Sorry on the team just for lols? Or should I... I mean, then again, this man's level 47. I feel like he's going to be more valuable to us. I don't know. Should we just go in like this? Oh, man. Oh man, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, we're gonna give you a rocky helmet. Maybe. Black belt. Give you a black belt. Man. I I why is this man holding a super potion? Oh, because of pickup. Hold up. We need we need to give you a real item. I don't know what to do. Um Alright, I think. Well, let's go ahead and wrap up this episode here. In the meantime, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Next episode, we're gonna we're gonna be taking on the Elite Four, and then maybe the champion in the same episode. But it really depends on uh, Assault Fest, maybe. Wait, what? Sanita? Oh no. Okay, we can't have. Actually, I'll, I'll figure out. I'll figure all of this in between episodes. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Though, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. In the next episode, we're gonna be taking on the Elite Four. Uh, and then, then the champion is either going to be in the next, next episode, or maybe the next episode will be the finale. I don't know. But thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And we will be back very, very soon with the finale. <sighs> let me, let me know what we should do. Uh, cause, I don't know. Or maybe I'll just go ahead and do something. I, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Thank you guys for watching, and peace! Oh man, I'm nervous. Yep. I'm really nervous.